We got it. Okay, Aaron, it's all you <laughs> now. Why don't you show us around? If nice. you have any questions for Aaron as we go, just put them in the chat and I'll make sure to relay them for you. Okay. Well, thanks everybody for joining me for my Pez Room Tour. I'm super excited to show everybody around my couple Pez areas that I have. But first, I'm up here in my studio. So if you ever do watch my two videos, like this is where I shoot my uh, YouTube videos. And so I keep a lot of my, I guess, newer, like more favorite Pez up here. So I thought it would be a good place to start. Let me turn the camera around here. All right. Wait, okay. <laughs> so first off, I have like this bookshelf here that I keep uh, a bunch of Pez. But this shelf is one of my favorites. And I just reorganized this. And I added a bunch of my bear Pez to it. So I have like, you know, a bunch of the, you know, Steve Glue Pez Outlaw, AKA Misfit Pez, whatever you want to call them. And then like the Ethio Swords Bears. But then I also have like this weird brown bear. I don't know even what that is, but I have some icy bears. I like the glow in the dark ones a lot. So I seem to always buy those. I have a couple like, I think they're called test pieces. I don't know if they are or not. But this one's an icy bear, and it has a brown head. There, so. Fun. Do you hear me? And oh, then, uh, and then there's uh, some Barney bears, which I really like as well. If you're not picking up on the theme. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, some icy bears, which are made with the Barney bear mold, and they still have the MGM copyright on them, which I really like. And then this is probably uh one of my favorite ones see if i'm pointing at it right uh this barney bear that's in the solo it's on a green stem that hasn't really made many appearances online yet so <laughs> and then greg who landon talked about he really likes the caspers so we keep a lot of the casper has up here and these are all like different i think most of them are different there might be one or two that are uh, the same, but there's a lot of different variations in the Caspers. So if you have any Casper ghosts that you want to sell, you know, hit me up later. <laughs> have some elephants. And uh, over here we have a bunch of Mimic, the Monkey Pez variations. Those are kind of fun. This is like uh, new additions to our collection that, especially Greg, he's been going crazy for these Mimic, the Monkey variations. <laughs> and uh, we just got this today. Or opened it today and it's a skull on the pumpkin card is pretty cool that's pretty rare to see um also have I don't, it's not super expensive but it's hard to find <laughs> and this is a pez international rack for your carded pez and i really enjoy collecting these panda pez gathering pez from all the different pez gatherings across the world and I have almost all of them, but the Thailand Siam ones. If you have one of these, the Thailand or the Thailand Siam one, let me know. I'd buy it from you. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go down to the big Pez display. I do have some other vintage up here. Some of these are newer ones we've gotten this year. And uh, oh, Bugs Bunny was one of the Pez that started my collection. So I usually try to buy a bunch of Bugs Bunny variations. So there's a bunch of them here. I do have my most favorite Bugs Bunny up here, and it's the Bugs Bunny on a brown stem. If you ever come across any Bugs Bunnies on brown stems, those are a little bit harder to find. So they're pretty fun. Oh, and Thor hangs out in its Lego boat. <laughs> but let me take you downstairs. Uh, yeah, so hopefully everybody is doing the collection tour, but that's just a little bit of what I have. Most of the stuff I have, I keep down like in my main Pez display area. And I have to keep my stuff gated for Clover so she doesn't come down here. Because <laughs> she's really old and she can't do steps anymore. <laughs> um, Sorry to feel that way myself. Yeah. <laughs> But okay, so when you walk in the room, this is my, you know, giant Pez display. I built this out maybe not last November, but the November. Wait, yeah, this is past November. I don't know. Not too long ago, we had this built. 
and I keep all my loose pez out here. So this shelf is full of a bunch of pez that I recently got. Like some of these I even got today, like this uh, bunny bee, <laughs> the giraffe, and the yappy. And I didn't have one of these pip dogs. I like the dog pez a lot as well. I like to keep my pez on these like little stands. These are 3D printed and it's kind of fun. Um, also have this shelf. This is this shelf is full of a lot of my like original vintage pez that I've bought. I think for my collection, and some of them are newer. Like I've had these bullwinkles. These probably were some of my first vintage pez I bought so many years ago. <laughs> I used to always go to the St. Louis Pez Convention, ran by John Devlin, and I miss it so much. But uh, that's where I used to buy a lot of my vintage pez. And some of my favorite ones here are like the die cut uh, bunny and bozo, and like the witch that has the raised design on the stem. Pretty cool. And then like the Zorro has Zorro's name on the side. Let's see, so like that vintage. Another shelf I really like <laughs> are these body parts. And I do have two of the like Russian body part pens. These are newer editions this past year. These are super, super hard to find. So I'm looking for the rest of these as well. I remember seeing these on eBay like 20, 25 years ago, and I tried to buy them and I got outbid. And so ever since then, I was like, I want these. And I just never probably see these come up for sale. Another one of my favorite shelves <laughs> is this one because it's full of a bunch of the crystal pez. And like I recently got this fin duck pez when I went to the Michigan Pez Convention last year, which was super fun. That's my new. Uh, <laughs> favorite convention to go to. I also got this elephant that I found out is probably a test piece. And I recently got some of these Japanese mini pez, which these are pretty hard to find. Like these are the, um, let's see, these are Sanex Party and these are Junior City. And I like these little frog ones a lot too. But I really like these pumpkins that are crystal. And those used to be made by Sylvia for her uh, lens gathering. So these are cool. And I bought these crystal canines so long ago at the St. Louis Pest Convention for probably like a hundred and I don't know, $25 or whatever they were. And nowadays these, nowadays these go for like $800, you know, if not more. So I was pretty happy I bought those, but these I will never sell. <laughs> those are kind of fun. And then like, just go through these real quick because some of these are just more current. Because I have, I like superheroes a lot, so I have superheroes. And I like Star Wars a lot, so I have a Star Wars shelf. And then recently, Greg and I, we've been in uh, FEB, a Fat Your Bunny Pez Kick, <laughs> and been collecting a lot of these uh, FEBs. So that's been a lot of fun. And I have some uh, Halloween Pez and some uh, Christmas. I was, I was looking for some good stuff here. There's a whole shelf full of Hello Kitty. And uh, they have a Disney section. How am I doing on time? Let's see. You, uh, you're doing okay. You have about eight minutes. Oh, eight minutes. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to rush, but I don't, but I want to show you what I want to show you. Cause I have some good stuff across the room here. Um, This is, this shelf is full of more of my, and then Mimpez and some Berkey Browns and some more minis and uh, more Disney. I really like this little display I got from Larry Mason. He 3D prints these little stands for the uh, mini brands Pez. I'm still missing two of them, as you can see. Those are hard to find. And uh, oh, I do have, I have this Panda bendable. I got that. And I really like the mini Pez. So like not the Japanese mini, but the regular mini. So I try to collect all these. These are kind of fun. They're from, these aren't really real, but they're like custom made, but they're kind of neat. They're from Ivan. I think he had a convention. And then some of these like mini ones 
And I have a whole bunch of the Easter ones. Like this was something I've been working on lately. I guess especially since Easter just happened. But <laughs> there's a bunch of Easter Pez, like the mini ones. And these here with the little colored ears are kind of hard to find and hard to get a hold of. They're not too, too expensive, but um, they're hard to find just even to buy, especially if you're here in the United States. And I like the little mini Pez and the eggs, so I try to collect those like all sealed up stuff. I really like my pestle and packages, even though like all these are open <laughs> because I like to, you know, buy maybe two of each if I can, not like with the vintage, but like the current ones. So I can keep one and package and one open. And this shelf is pretty fun because I have the gold SpongeBob and I have a bunch of like the Steve Glue Pez Outlaw Pez. And since he's going to be on here, I thought that might be fun to show. Some of the uh, pinky elephants. And uh, I'll take you over here. <laughs> so over here I have some, you know, like I have some Pez racks and the carded Pez with the baseballs that was pretty popular when those came out. But in this shelf, we just recently built these Ikea displays, which I think are pretty nice. And in here, Open the door slow. <laughs> I have my panda collection. So I have a whole bunch of these just uh, regular pandas. And if you don't know much about panda pez, that one doesn't have hair, does it? This one doesn't have the hair on the top. And then uh, this one has hair on top. That's a fun little panda variation. Got the little Japanese keychain. I got some fun ones on cards back here. And then I just got this one. So that's a no foot panda pez on the stripe card. And I also just got this one. So like we just opened these on our live stream this morning on uh, YouTube. So that was super fun. I barely even had these for just a couple hours here in my collection. <laughs> so I came just in time to show them on the ECP. And then uh, these pandas are cool because these both are MMMs, but this is, is it kind of bright? This one has a red stem, which is harder to find. Usually you see the black ones and then the blue ones are a little bit easier to find, but the red ones are super hard to find. And then I also have these pandas and I'm looking to add some more of these orange bag pandas to my collection. If anybody has any of those to sell me, let me know. <laughs> and then, some of my favorite pandas, I have the red uh, head pandas and the yellow ones, but I also have them in cello. And I don't even think I've shown these anywhere to anybody yet, but I have the yellow head with the red stem. So it comes yellow with the black stem and it also comes yellow with the red stem. And then it comes, uh, red with the black stem and then white with the black stem. But these are some of my most favorite Pez I think in my, I have in my collection. I like vintage Pez that are still in their cello or on cards when I can. Oh, this one, can you see the side of the head? It has like marbling there. Oh, it's pretty neat. Um, and then I also have, oh, we finally just got this today too, the MMM on the red stem. So these are hard to find, but they also have the removable eyes and nose, but they don't have removable ears like the vintage no feet ones. So if you're looking for like these and people's collections to buy, like you're online shopping, just look if it has the removable eyes and nose and no removable ears, then you'll know it's an MMM. The Merry Music Maker, a little whistle on the back. And of course, you have to have a crystal one. <laughs> and then these vintage ones, they come with the blue stem, the red stem, and there's some different variations of blues and reds, and then blacks. And then I have a bunch of the pandas with the feet back here, just kind of like a little army of them. And then one of my other favorite shelves is I have a bunch of Disney, I guess vintage Disney pads with no feet. And, uh, been obsessed with the Plutos lately. 
<laughs> and there's a lot of different variations in these Disney pets, especially Pluto's. So I've been working on, you know, getting more of those. And those are pretty easy to find and pretty inexpensive if you want to, like, build some Disney Pez armies. But um, some of these in the cellos up here, like, both of these here are the die cut Mickey and uh, Donald. And I've had those for a long time. I remember I bought those on eBay probably 10 years or more ago. And I love this little monorail that uh, Disney came out with. <laughs> doesn't even say Pez on it, so I don't even think it's branded Pez, but I think it's fun. And then these are some other uh, Disney with no feet. Some of them do have feet in this case. This one we just got today too. It's a white stem Donald on a USA stem, which is really fun. These USA stems are hot and uh, a little bit harder to find, but the color variations on those are really nice. Also, Aaron, have, the uh, that three D printed stand, um, the the five uh, Pentagon stand, are, is Larry making those too? No, these are done by Pez three D Prints, and he has an Etsy and an eBay store, and he makes these, and they come different colors. They're really nice. I don't know if Larry makes any stands like that, but Larry, sure, yeah, yeah, he does so many three uh, D printed yeah. stuff, really nice yeah. stuff like that too. And um, how do you keep track of those variations, you know, for your Plutos? Like, how, how do you know if you don't have one um, when you're out and about? <laughs> well, usually we just buy the Plutos because they're pretty cheap and they're easy to find. So we'll end up buying them and then get them here. And I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of doubles in this case. But then are they really doubles? Because then the different stem color variations might be just a little off or the head color variations might be a little off. And then there's like these you here that have like a thicker head I don't know if you can tell on the video but and then these here like down on this side they have like a, a narrower more narrow head so it's like there's just like slight variations even in those but um honestly I don't really have a way to categorize these right now <laughs> I need to go through them because a lot of times I just buy them and then I just pop them in the case because I think it looks really cool when you have a whole bunch of them. And then here, one more shelf. And then uh, these are a bunch of my vintage uh, carded Pez that have Bugs Bunny and Annie and Batman. And this FEB is one of my favorites, Mr. Ugly and some superheroes. I recently got this Icy Bear and it's on an orange stem, which I just love that. And then this Pluto is on a purple stem which is pretty unique too. But I'm looking for a Pluto with no feet on a purple stem if you have one to sell me. <laughs> and then I've had this for quite a few years now too. It's a Thor in the cello, which I really like that. This might've been one of my first uh, vintage peasant cellos that I think I bought for my collection, but about it. <laughs> okay, is there anything you, you wanna make sure we see? I do have this really cool uh, body parts display that I recently got. And it has all these body parts in the Pez, like the double cards. I thought I thought this was super cool because I've never seen one of these in real life. And then uh, I got that from, I don't know if I should say who I bought this stuff from, but <laughs> you know who you are. And then we also just put together this display. So I need, I have room to put some more Pez, but I recently, like, I like lambs too. So got a, quite a few of the no fit lambs and uh, Santas. This Santa in here is pretty cool because it has a red head and then it's painted opposed to like this Santa that has like the white head and then it's just painted the colors so this uh this santa here is pretty rare and harder to find i just recently got this around this past christmas which i thought well i think i got it for christmas <laughs> greg likes to buy me pez for christmas and my birthday is like five days before christmas so i get a lot of pez in december usually <laughs> and then uh these greg's greg's obsessed with these pumpkins because the pumpkin heads, they have the different color, like die cut on the inside. So sometimes you find them, like this one is really light on the inside here. 
and then other times you find them and they're just like more orange. This one is a really weird color, but it's also on a blue stem, which is questionable. But it's still fun to have like these different colors, I think. <laughs> but if you like some of these, like some of these are easier to find because that's why we have a lot of variations in them because they're pretty affordable and fun to find. I also have like a Pez rack over here full of some fun Pez. Like I like the Red Nose Day Dinosaurs and uh, I don't know, I can, I could, you could hang out in my Pez room with me all day. <laughs> I recently got these Pez racks I'm still working on and uh, these are pretty nice. So I have a lot more Pez through these doors. You can't see in there. <laughs> But that's where I keep like a bunch of my Pez on cards. So I need to bring all those out and you can put Pez on each size of these racks. So I think it's pretty neat. So I need to keep working on those. But Aaron, I have about 60 seconds. Okay. Is there something something yeah. you a must show? Must show? Anything else? Oh, I have all my Funko Pop Pez over here. That's pretty cool. I got these like shadow boxes. And then you can see I'm running out of room. I need to buy a couple more. But I like these Funko Pop Pez a lot. So in here, I don't have any, like, I have some more rare ones, but I, these are mostly, like, the easy to find ones, the 5 or $6 ones. But I think they're cool. I like the packages that they come in. Um, I'm also a graphic designer, so <laughs> I appreciate all the time and the effort that goes into, you know, creating the packages for Pez. That's why I like to keep them in the packages a lot. And then I also got the new Freddy Funkos. So those just were released. But that's it. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, Aaron, thank you so much. Aaron, I know you're on Facebook. Everybody could get a hold of you on Facebook. Um, and so if you have more questions for Aaron, you can you can get a hold of her on Facebook. And make sure to follow her on YouTube, Aaron Collects Pez. Um, while you're there, follow Virtual Pez Convention too. We, we're there. Oh, yeah. We do it too. <laughs> uh, so like and subscribe, all that good stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks right, for thank letting me show my uh, Pez around to everybody today. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. It was wonderful. Thank you so much.